let me just make one final observation here, which is, look, this, these are the first public remarks that I have made since my running mate was nearly assassinated for the second time yesterday. And President Trump, I was actually sitting at home in Cincinnati with my six-year-old, seven-year-old, and uh, I get a phone call, and it says Donald J. Trump, so I answer it, and he says, J.D., you're not going to believe this, but they tried to do it again. And I said, to, I said they, no, they didn't. You're, you're, you're joshing me. What, what's going on here, sir? And he says, no, I, you know, I was playing golf, and uh, the Secret Service found somebody who was trying to shoot me. And I say, oh, my Lord, sir, I'm so glad you're okay. I mean, are, are you doing okay? Are you not just physically okay, but everything's fine? He said, yeah, I'm doing fine. And this is just who Donald Trump is. He said, you know, I'm, I'm a little mad because I was about to make a birdie putt on the sixth hole, and they wouldn't let me finish. And the guy's literally like, this happened, I mean, he calls me right after this is 10 minutes after, and he's, he's pissed off that they won't let him finish his birdie putt right after they found a guy with an AK-47. But by, by the way, that, that is kind of the guy that you want to be president of the United States, right? Who's phased by nothing, who's telling jokes afterwards. I think I was without a question bothered by it more than he was, and I was in Cincinnati, Ohio, you know, 100 miles away from where this went down. But I do think that we should take this opportunity to call for a reduction in the ridiculous and inflammatory political rhetoric coming from too many corners of our politics. Look, we can disagree with one another, we can debate one another, but we cannot tell the American people that one candidate is a fascist and if he's elected, it is gonna be the end of American democracy. We cannot, as a, per, as a person affiliated with Kamala Harris has said, that we need to quote, eliminate Donald J. Trump. A New York Democratic Congressman has said that in the past. If you tell the American people that this person is the end of democracy, if you tell the American people that this person needs to be eliminated, most of them, thank God, are going to ignore you, but some crazy person is going to take matters into their own hands and actually listen to the crazy rhetoric that you're putting out there. And I know it's popular on a lot of corners of the left to say that we have a, we have a both sides problem. And I'm not going to say we're always perfect. I'm not going to say that conservatives always get things exactly right. But you know the big difference between conservatives and liberals? is that we ha no one has tried to kill Kamala Harris in the last couple of months, and two people now have tried to kill Donald Trump in the last couple of months. I'd say that's pretty strong evidence that the left needs to t tone down the rhetoric and needs to cut this crap out. Somebody's going to get hurt by it, and it's going to destroy this country. Somebody is going to get hurt, and you think about what an incredible wound it would open up in the United States of America. All of us, and I promise I will do my part to tone down the rhetoric, but in particular, the people telling you that Donald Trump needs to be eliminated, you guys need to cut it out or you're going to get somebody hurt.